Good evening. Teams of firefighters have been tackling a large fire in the centre of Biddeford in North Devon today. It gutted the upper floors of the Specsavers building on the high street where several people live. Well, no one was hurt, but residents had a very lucky escape after being woken by bin men. Well, Sam Blackledge is live for us nearby. Sam, is the fire out now? Well, yes, thankfully, the fire which started here at 5.30 a.m. this morning has now been extinguished. You can see behind me there's still a fair amount of activity to make this building safe, scaffolding going up as we speak. As you say, the fire started on the very top floor above Spec Savers, and these are quite old buildings, so I think the main concern now is what the fire service are calling the structural integrity of the building. That is the risk that it could collapse. As you'll see, this has caused a fair amount of disruption around around Biddeford today. Biddeford Town Centre going up in flames. A fire above an optician's in the high street threatened to get out of control. These dramatic pictures capturing the moments before emergency crews from across the county rushed to help. By this morning, the fire was out, but the damage was clear to see. The entire top of the building now lying in piles of rubble on the pavement and a clean-up operation well underway. Friends Kat and Kirsty, who live in the neighbouring flat, had a narrow escape thanks to some quick-thinking rubbish collectors. We were woken up to loads of banging and shouting and I could smell burnt paper, but because I, I was half asleep, I didn't really know what it was. So we've got up, swung open the door and there was two council workers saying, you need to get out, there's a fire. So half asleep, we've like grabbed our blanket, our dressing gowns and our bags and had to run out and things. Because our fire alarm wasn't triggered for ages, it would have taken a while. So for the fact that the council workers had come and woken us up, it was, it was really just a blessing for us, really. They were like heroes. Mm -hmm. They literally saved us, genuinely. Investigators say it may take some time to work out how the fire started. There's significant damage inside because once the roof was on fire, the only thing the roof is going to do is fall in. It's very hard to put water on a roof fire to start with because the, the nature of the roof throws the water away. Um, and when it does fall in, it causes significant damage inside the, the top floor flat, which you can see behind. This is a big disruption to the, to the town, but also to the, all the businesses in this part of the high street. We're still investigating it. There's a lot of fire debris inside the flats itself. Uh, and we work closely with police investigation and also sometimes with insurance uh, as well to try and understand what caused the fire this time. Well, as you heard there, it is still early days in the investigation into what caused this fire. We might find out, find out more over the coming days. The high street, as you can see, is still closed, but it might reopen later this evening. If you're planning to travel into Biddeford later on today, best to check before you set off. OK, Sam, thanks very much for that.